I guess it's hard to believe what's happened these days in the Middle East. And of course, God bless you all and all the love goes to these innocent children. Today, we're gonna do this. All that coming up. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. My pleasure to be here and welcome to my channel. Okay, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, let's begin with this file. As you can see, we have this Alembic. This is my head. I track that by Keen Tools. And of course, we have this movement. The first thing we need to check is the scale because its scale is so important in pyro setup. You see, we have the scale issue. Let me show you what's happened if we not fix that. For example, let's have a pyro source here okay easy and let's have a volume rasterize attribute okay let's initialize for example a smoke nice and let's have density here okay for now and you see that the particle need to be shrinked and we don't get all this detail if we get all detail with this small size the pyro solver will not have a correct simulation you see that okay for that we need to scale that up i used sorry let me delete that nice okay i use this transfer node you see that that without and this with this transfer node and of course i use this expression dollar cex cey cez for the pivot because uh, my geometry is moving okay and of course i delete some part of the face i don't need that of course and yeah after that let me show you here I animate this uh, geometry with this transfer node. This is a pivot uh, trick because the pivot of this transform is on the origin of the world scene in Houdini. So if we scale that up or down, it will react like this. You see that? I love it. This is a cool method. And of course, I animated that. You see that? if the pivot is here it will scale like this okay of course i animate that and you see that let me show you okay this is cool and i animate that towards the forward using this uh, z parameter and of course with this animation i need the point velocity we don't have any here so you see for that i use the famous point velocity node in houdini let me show you see that i calculate uh, the point velocity based on position of course this is a point velocity magic and of course some noise movement and let me show you the vector here the point velocity vector you see it's recognized the movement that's we need uh, for the pyro uh, solver you see and i had these uh, noises okay this is uh, crazy but it uh, makes sense in pyro solver okay let's carry on okay with that i create this group as you can see i select the beards and the eyebrows here nice and i call that group one for example and yeah i delete uh, the selected group of course by using this one here and of course i select uh, sorry i generate this uh, pyro source using a pyro source node here i 
uh, add this velocity, burn, temperature, and density. And in another hand, in this one, I have the selected group. I modified the velocity vector. I add a directional force to it. Uh, you you may say and i don't want these eyebrows to affect it because the beard is towards the down and i select just the beards here you see that okay enter and you see that i wanted that okay uh, and i i will use this for the fire of course this one uh, and you see that i add the same uh, attribute or the fields here but with this one I uh, disable the temperature and the burn because if we don't have uh, these we don't get the fire for the fire we need a temperature of course and the burn and of course I rasterize uh, these guys because if I if I delete one of them I get this nasty warning and for that i add the same attribute here see that and let me show you okay i guess so far so good and if you enjoy this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and share it with your friend okay let's carry on okay of course we are in this phase the pyro solver let me rename that to final and i want to uh, demonstrate that little bit let's suppose we have this pyro solver let's see what i get from this simulation off top of the box you see that this is messed up okay not bad but we need to fix a couple of things first let's go here and buoyancy let's inverse that and let's make it a little bit uh, weaker and you see that the directional uh, simulation is changed of course and the velocity is too high let me disable that and yeah we have something this is a cool one okay not bad we're gonna use that and maybe let's have a little bit of velocity here okay and of course let's go here and make that even weaker the buoyancy okay it's not bad you see that lovely okay you see we don't have any uh, gravity force that's driven by this buoyancy here you see that it's so important if we are giving the negative value to it it will reverse the direction of course you see that okay so with that we have this simulation so far this is cool as you can see and of course for the fire or velocity you can uh, tweak that in here in the source tab you see that and if we uh, set that to zero to temperature okay and animate that to one we still have a uh, fire that's because we need to do the, the same thing to the burn here okay let's go there and let me see okay i'm trying to match these keyframes here okay and let's set that to zero and yeah and in here for example to one And now let's see, you see that we don't have any fire because we need the temperature and the burn. And now with the keyframe is triggered, we have the fire. You see, this is the basic stuff, of course, and we can decrease the velocity. This is, uh, you see that we have the face now and this is cool. 
okay this is the simple stuff here and of course all this and uh, of course the sim file and uh, the model is available on my patreon make sure to check it here now let me show you the final uh, version of the pyro solver here okay and let me show you okay let's fast forward and you see we have this flip book and this is the final version and let me show you what's happening here it is cool and i animated uh, some uh, parameter i will show you here okay nice and let's dive into the pyro solver you see first of course we have this uh, trigger off of course let's go uh, tab by tab and this is the sub step and uh, voxel size of course the resolution and in the source tab here of course i animate the temperature easy and i animate the velocity uh, over time and in fields let's go to density first let me show you here you see in here uh, the smoke it's disappearing and let me see see that and in that i triggered the dissipation dissipation in in here it's so high that's why we see the the smoke longer but in here i decrease the dissipation so for that we don't see any smoke the smoke will die uh, quickly you may say you see that it will disappear and of course i emit uh, density or smoke from the flame it's uh, subtle but it's there you see we have this awesome uh, future in pyro solver and that's the density the temperature of course we don't have anything fancy here but the cool rate is too high i want to this flame it's to be uh, shorter and it's cool faster see that okay this is a temperature and the flame it's okay and of course in the shape we have the buoyancy of course you see that with this setting i didn't touch anything and of course i have turbulence and shredding and this effect as you can see and in the look it's not a fancy you can select that this is for the visualization purpose only and you see this is the result of course all that all this scene is available on my patreon and with that this is the final result see that i love it okay guys i guess that's it see you in the next one goodbye